Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day. Well now, spectacularly gorgeous evening. Here in the collapse of everything where I have washed up on uh, into this beat up old trailer at the end of a dirt road in a swamp in Florida. Imagine that. Uh, you're all doomer, ending up at the end of a dirt road in a swamp in Florida to sit around uh, by himself, talking to himself every night. What is it? It is a Wednesday night. I have lost all track of what day it is. It could be November 6th, 7th, 8th, or 9th, 2023. I don't know what. I think it's Wednesday. Uh, I don't know, I don't care, so, uh, anyway, oh yeah, I do need to warn you, there, there are going to be some F-bombs in this, uh, in this video, so if the F-word bothers you, you might want to go off and look at your cute cat videos. So anyway, guys, I am just, uh, you, a few of you may have noticed that when was the last time I did a video for Collapse Chronicles? I, I might have done that. I do one on Thursday. Six days since I have uh, tuned into the Doomosphere. And guys, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I am really uh, you know taking almost a week off of the Doomosphere, it's not, it, it, it's, it's not that bad to get the hell out of the Doomosphere. I'm just, uh, it, you know, been analyzing my life, uh, go starting another winter alone down here in Florida. And I'm just wondering, guys, is it time to say game over? for Collapse Chronicles and the Doomosphere. So I've been, you know, looking for little signs from the universe. I am a student of Carlos Castaneda. I, I, I enjoy signs from the universe to tell me if it is time to, you know, call it a day. So you know, my evil twin over there at that other channel that we don't talk about here. So every month, for the past five years, what I've been, I always, of course, compare my numbers. I get my little creator letter each, each month, and my evil twin over at that other channel gets his little stats for the month from uh, the YouTube algorithms. So pretty much every month since I started this channel five years ago, starting pretty much from the first month, I have gained more subscribers over here at Collapse Chronicles than that loudmouth jackass over there uh, on that other channel has. This has been a pretty much unbroken record until now. I just got my, uh, I'm not going to bother showing you. So anyway, uh, I get my little love letter from YouTube and my evil twin gets his little love letter from YouTube and history has been made. So, that guy, that loudmouth, just whatever he is over there, uh, that narcissistic loudmouth, uh, all, all he does is talk about himself. He, he, he never talks about doom and gloom. Uh, he calls me an eco-pussy. Uh, you know, he, he, he's always laughing at me for talking about this doom and gloom. So I find that that loudmouth jackass 
has gained 23 subscribers in the last 28 days. He has gained 23 subscribers, so how many subscribers do you think I have gained at Collapse Chronicles? Well, you would be misled because it says I have gained zero subscribers, which is a true statement. I have gained zero subscribers, which actually what that means is I have lost 12 subscribers. So over the range, uh, that jackass is 35 subs ahead of me. Are, are, are you following me? That, uh, that that guy uh, has gained 23 uh, talking about whatever he talks about, uh, that I have zero interest in listening to, to this dude just sit there. He talks about himself all the time. He, he whines about how miserable his life is and, and all of that. He is a whiner. Uh, he's a narcissist. Uh, he's a loudmouth jackass. He, he's, he's got an absolutely filthy mouth. And, 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 and that guy has a 35 sub range uh, over, over me talking about doom and gloom. Uh, so I go over there to his channel just clicked on a video. I'm not making this up. What he's doing is he's riding down the road with a prostate massager rammed up his ass. Going down the road, massaging his prostate, driving down the road, I think through Charlotte, North Carolina. It's a wonder. That, that, that he didn't cause a wreck. This is what people love to see. One of the comments to it was, you're going to get a lot more subscribers if you keep making content like this. Now, I think a, 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 maybe another part of the reason is because he did, the, 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 this dude uh, over there, my evil twin, he's been talking about for years how he is used to be an alien abductee, uh, claiming that he was uh, abducted by space aliens for like 22 years. So, in, in, in this pathetic effort to get the attention of some doomer chick, uh, some married doomer chick, uh, who's into that space alien shit, so he started, you know, just to impress her, he starts talking about these damn space aliens. Uh, maybe that's part of the reason. Uh, I don't know whether it's the prostate massager. I don't know whether it's the space alien horseshit. And I'm sitting over here talking about doom and gloom. Now, uh, I'm thinking maybe the reason I've lost 12 subscribers. It, it might have something to do with that video that I put out, when was it, 10 or 12 days ago, about Jessica Wildfire, the little darling of the Doomosphere. You know, my evil twin wanted that rant, but uh, I fought him for it, and, and, and I took it. I called it how I saw it. And uh, so I'm sure uh, a, a, a lot of Jessica Wildfire's fans uh, quit, uh, you know, unsubscribed from the channel because I did not agree with Jessica Wildfire that, the, you know, essentially that the New World Order uh, has a depopulation agenda that based on uh, the, the works of my hero, Thomas Malthus. So maybe it was that video uh, that ran some people off. If, if that video ran anybody off of Collapse Chronicles, goodbye and good riddance, okay? You know, I, I really don't give a fuck anymore, guys. 
and, 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 and that's the bottom line. It, it's, uh, it's probably been apparent in my work uh, r recently that, uh, th that <clears throat> you know, that I've been questioning what the hell I'm doing down here in this pit. It, 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 it's doing nothing for me. It, it is not serving my highest and best good to, to keep sitting here talking about spending my entire life doom scrolling hours a day uh, to find out uh, all the ways uh, that we're fucked. You know, how many ways can, can you say we're fucked? I, I, I've known how fucked we are uh, for 10 years. We're fucked. We're completely fucked. And there's not a goddamn thing any of us are going to do about it. You, you know, one of the reasons that I stopped interviewing people uh, on, on this channel but because I just, you know, I was getting bored uh, of hearing uh, how many ways we're fucked. Uh, yeah, I get it. Uh, we're, we're fucked, and, and there's not a damn thing to do about it. It's so, I, I guess I got two choices. I can spend the rest of my life uh, getting up every morning, but before I've even had a cup of coffee, uh, you know, pouring a cup of coffee and, and turning all this doom scrolling shit uh, page after page about how the, the Amazon rainforest is fucked, uh, Antarctica is fucked, uh, the Arctic is fucked, uh, the ocean is fucked, the coral reefs are fucked. Uh, there's not a goddamn thing I can do about the coral reefs being fucked. Uh, you know, you know what I've been doing? Uh, for the past, when did I get down there? Starting Saturday morning, you know what I have been doing every day, guys? I instead of doom scrolling and, and coming on here, uh, sharing how fucked we are with my little imaginary friends, I have been sitting, uh, on this beautiful, uh, dock, uh, one block from here is, is this dock out in the Withlacoochee River, what I have been doing is watching and listening and to and watching the Sandhill Cranes start their day. Uh, I, I, I meet, I've met a lot of nice normies. Uh, you know, in the morning they're, they're putting their boats in. So every morning, uh, one block from here, I take my morning cup of coffee and instead of doom scrolling, uh, I, I'm sitting out there, getting out there, enjoying it while I still can. And uh, just enjoying uh, this beautiful weather we're having, the scenery, the wildlife, meeting these very nice normie people. Then every uh, sunset, every afternoon, I come back for sunset pour my margarita, go back down to that dock and spend another hour. So I spend two hours a day sitting on that dock, e either having a cup of coffee in the morning or a margarita in the evening, uh, not paying any attention to how fucked we are, uh, enjoying the beautiful scenery, the sunrise in the morning, the sunset in the evening, uh, the birds, the fish, uh, I have probably, you know, it's just real surface conversation. I have probably met in, 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 in five days, I have talked to maybe 20 normies down here in Florida. D do, you know how many, do you know how many times, I, you know how many times I've heard the word Gaza since I got to Florida? I have never heard the word Gaza leave anybody's lips. Uh, I have never heard uh, the name, shockingly, I, I, I've never heard the name Donald Trump or Joe Biden uh, leave anybody's lips. Uh, I sure as shit have never heard anybody mention climate change. It's very polite conversations. You know, about what a beautiful day it is, what kind of bird is that, uh, you know, where are you from, and, uh, 
And then of course, you know, when, when I get that question, like we always do, what do you do? I do not say I am a doomer. Uh, I, it, it, it has never left my mouth, uh, you know, with this doomer shit. Uh, and it's been a, it's been the most pleasant five days. Uh, I have not doom scrolled uh, since last Thursday, and uh, I, I am, I, I will, I will never become. You know, you can't unlearn what you learn, uh, but you can, even if you can't train yourself to be completely clueless. You, you can, you know, starting from a certain point, you can train yourself to at least to be ignorant. Uh, like, yeah, uh, I, I'm going to, I will see how long it lasts, but guys, I don't know what's happening to this channel uh, because I, I'm having too much fun uh, in, in the morning and in, in the sunset down there on the dock and in between, I am working my ass off. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm uh, fixing up this old trailer. Good Lord. And of course, uh, as you know, I am a real estate investor in Florida. The Florida real estate market. Right after, uh, it, it, you know, my piece of land that I'm trying to flip for twice what I paid for it less than two years ago, uh, pretty much right where that big ass hurricane smashed in to uh, the west coast of Florida uh, a, a few weeks ago. I don't even remember the name of the hurricane. Okay? I don't remember the name of the hurricane. I don't see any sign of the hurricane. None of my neighbors have mentioned the goddamn hurricane. It, it didn't even blow the Spanish moss out of the trees. <clears throat> it didn't blow the moss out of the trees. It didn't blow the dead palm fronds down. Uh, you know, I've got work to do, people. Uh, I've got to get out there and make some money as a, you know, a doomer real estate investor selling property uh, that was just hit by a goddamn hurricane a, a few weeks ago. Nobody cares. Uh, the, the Florida real estate market is burning up right now. Uh, I am a hell of a lot more interested in the Florida real estate market uh, for the past week than, than I am, a, I, I, I don't know, a hundred pink dolphins uh, floating belly up in, in the dried up Amazon River. I don't know if the goddamn Amazon River ha has completely dried up. Uh, it, it, what is it? Is it just a beach now? Uh, there's nothing I can do about the goddamn Amazon River drying up, but there is something that, that I can be doing to fix up this trailer, uh, and, and, and there's something I can be doing to add value uh, to my Florida real estate so I can flip it for twice what I paid for it uh, less than two years ago. Uh, you know, this is what people uh, want, want to talk about. And obviously, whenever anybody asks what I'm doing, I say I'm down here working on this property, getting ready to sell. Everyone wants to talk about, uh, well, what do you got? Blah, blah, blah. And, 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 and uh, <clears throat> so there you go, guys. Uh, just, uh, you know, I don't know if I mentioned it on this channel before. Uh, about some, uh, you know, some woman I met up there in, in Ithaca, New York on Pile of Fish. Uh, it's two years ago now. And I actually made it to a third date with her. And, and she wasn't even a completely clueless uh, moron, okay? She wasn't a clueless moron, but at the same time, she, she you know, our third date, she, she just said, Sam, 
if you want to meet a woman, if you are really concerned and, and you want to meet a woman, you got to can the doomer shit. Can the doomer shit. And, 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 and as long as you're down there in that rabbit hole, you're, you're, you're never going to have an, a, a woman in your life again. Uh, it, it ain't going to happen. Uh, you can talk about space aliens or whatever you want to. Uh, there, there is no doomer chick uh, out there. for there. No, you, 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 Nobody wants to hear it. Uh, it, it nobody uh, wants to live in a damn tiny house for half the year in some beat up old trailer at the end of a dirt road in a swamp in Florida. Uh, you, you know, I, I, I want a damn girlfriend in my life. I, 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 I want a girlfriend. Uh, I, I, I want someone to, uh, you know, spend my life with. Uh, and, and as long as I'm down there, I know that some people can do this. So I don't know how many of you guys know. I don't think you'll have any problem about me talking about this about this uh, Doomer, uh, Mike Sleva, that's spelled S-L-I-W-A, Mike Sleva, he used to be the right-hand man of that person we don't talk about here uh, on this channel, uh, he, he, you know, the, the, the godfather of uh, whatever. Uh, if, if you wonder what happened uh, to Mike Sleva, uh, you know, who, who, was, who was down here and uh, did this rabbit hole. You know, Mike told me it was, I think it was 2017 where he's at the point that I'm at now. He, you know, he, he just said, Sam, there, there, there's only so much you can say in the echo chamber of the Doomosphere. He was the, it was the first time that I had heard uh, that term, the echo chamber of the Doomosphere. That's exactly what is. Do, do you know what Mike Sleeve is doing now? You can go look it up. Mike Sleeve, S L I W A, put Mike Sleeve, uh, pickleball. Pickleball. Mike Sleeve knows every bit as much as I do how fucked we are. Okay. Mike Sleva, I assure you, uh, he and his Doomer chick wife, uh, Karen, uh, they both know we are completely fucked. They both know there's not a goddamn thing uh, that we're going to do about it. And so what's Mike uh, done with his life? Uh, he, he's out there uh, playing pickleball, being some big spokesman for pickleball. I wouldn't know what a fucking pickleball was if one came rolling down the street and hit me in the head. I have no clue what a pickleball is, but I am happy for Mike Sleva that uh, he has found a new passion in life. That there's, uh, you, you might as well play pickleball for, for the rest of your fucking life. You know, you're probably going to enjoy your life. You're probably going to have a little bit of company. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's just like my, my sister, uh, uh, you know, my, my rich sister, uh, who is, she is not a, uh, a, a clueless moron, you know, she admits that she's a bit of an apocaloptimist, but at least she understands the first part. Even my sister, she goes, she goes Sam, she goes, yeah, I, I agree with you how fucked we are. We have a little bit of disagreement about, uh, about whether we can do anything about it. Uh, but she's she's more in agreement than disagreement. Uh, but, but she goes, uh, okay, so you know we're fucked, Sam. You you know that or we can't do anything about it. So what the what, the, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna spend the rest of your life 
uh, d d just crawling around uh, down here in, in, in dead coral reefs and, and, and uh, bloated uh, pink dolphins, uh, whatever it is. Uh, you know, I, I, I think I said right there on uh, my soft white underbelly uh, interview, which I've said from day one, uh, I am sorry I ever went down uh, this sewer called the, the Doomosphere. Uh, I, I am sorry I ever heard of it. Uh, I, I, I wish to fuck. Uh, I, I had, had never heard of YouTube. I, I wish I had never heard of Terrence McKenna. I wish I had never heard of Michael Rupert. Uh, I've been down there since 2008. 15 years down here uh, in, in, in this slime pit called the Doomosphere. It hasn't done a goddamn thing for my life uh, on, on every single measure of, uh, uh, of, uh, of my life. My life is worse off now uh, than, it, than it was uh, the day before I ever listened to my first Terrence McKenna video. So uh, do not ever uh, listen to Terrence McKenna. If you don't know uh, who that is, uh, enjoy your blissful ignorance. Uh, there, it, it's, uh, now, I, I have met uh, some, some nice folks. I, okay, I will say uh, I have met uh, some, some great folks. I've turned uh, maybe, what is it? 20 or 30 of you guys into quote real life friends and so the, the, the that, that is the one thing that that I have gotten out 15 years down here in, in this pit is I have made some really good friends although uh, I might say uh, for every friend I have made since I went down this path I have lost 10 for every one that I've made, uh, I, I guarantee you, if I had never gone down this gone down this path, guarantee you, I would have a shitload more friends than I have now. I would have a girlfriend. I assure you, I would have a woman in my life. Uh, I would have friends in my life. I would have music in my life. Uh, what what uh, I, I what what I have given up uh, since I fell down this uh, since I fell into this pit uh, called, called the Doomosphere. Uh, you know this is why I say when when anybody is just sticking uh, their toe that uh, down in here, uh, I say get the hell out of here. Do not walk. Run like hell. I don't know if there's one person uh, that I have ever met who claims that, that becoming a doomer has uh, improved their life. You know, uh, so I, I just got to take a break, guys, and I don't know. I don't know if, uh, if, if I'm going to be back uh, in, in a week uh, like a moth to the flame or I don't know if I'm kissing uh, the echo chamber of the Doomosphere goodbye and, 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 and joining Mike Sleva to go buy a fucking pickleball uh, and, and get Mike Sleva to teach me how to play fucking pickleball so I can get my goddamn life back. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know what's up with me. And if you don't hear from me for a while, you can always go over there to that other channel and, and, and listen to that loudmouth, narcissistic jackass talk about himself, whine about how awful his life is, uh, whatever he's doing, r ramming some thing up his ass, uh, flying off on a UFO 
what, whatever that dude talks about over there, because obviously uh, more, more people are, are interested in that uh, than how fucked we are. And, and I don't blame them. So I'm going to wrap this up, and now uh, that I have an internet, uh, I'm going to pour myself a margarita. I'm going to sit here with my little dog. I'm going over to Netflix and, and watching some brainless normie comedy. And I highly suggest uh, you go over to Netflix and watch some normie brainless comedy while you still can. Uh, you have anything to add to this little dog? Well, I guess that about wraps it up. So, don't know when I will be back. Could be tomorrow, could be never. Bye, guys.